Hi, this is it. And again, like I was saying, you pastors, it's a shame. And you are so, I mean, you guys are so, it's so bad I can't even speak. So you, uh, I understand whatever you want to do with your own life, okay. But don't drag other people into it. And anybody that trying to follow the pastor's footsteps or the leaders or anyone that's doing wickedness, use that as an excuse saying, if they can't do it, why can I do it? No, don't do that. Because everybody's accountable for their own soul. You are standing at the, in the front of Jesus and looking deep into his eyes one day. And then he's going to ask you, what did you do when you were here on earth? Did you serve me? And you want to say, oh, no, I didn't serve you because of the pastor. Because the pastor that was that, that was preaching the gospel every day was committing adultery, was living a homosexual lifestyle. That was, the church member was gossiping. Or the people that was on, on YouTube that was preaching the gospel, the next day I heard them living this uh, lustful lifestyle. He's going to tell you to get away from me. I never knew you. Because if somebody goes to a building, like they always say, I know it's uh, like a cliche, like it's cliche, whatever. If they jump off the building, you won't do it too. So why are you using the sins as an excuse not to turn to Jesus? You have to, th that should make you want to serve the Lord the most. You know, to, to say, you know, Jesus, I will serve you all my heart and soul. Everything that I have, everything that I am, I just give to you. You know, just saying, Jesus, I don't want to be like that person. I want to be a better example for you, a better example for my neighbor, a better example for my family, a better example for my husband, my wife, my children. That's what you should do. Not use whatever the pastors or the church member or anything that you hear on YouTube as an excuse to sin. Don't let that justify your wicked ways. No, just turn. Say, Jesus. Come into my heart. Change this heart, Lord Jesus. Because I don't want to sin. I don't want to put your name to shame like that. Change me. Let me be the person that you created to be. A servant of the Most High. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. And let the Holy, lead, let the Holy Spirit lead me and guide me into righteousness. Into your arms. Into your presence. Let the Holy Spirit intercede for you. Because once Jesus saved you, he will... Because the Bible says his sheep know his voice. I mean, if you truly belong to Jesus, you will not put yourself in any kind of situation or any kind of sin. Because your 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 the shame will just you'll feel embarrassed once you you're about to fall into something that you know that will grieve the Holy Spirit. That will make Jesus mad. You you you'll be ashamed. You will not want to do that. It's not that I'm saying that we're perfect, we don't fall into sin sometimes. But we have to watch ourselves every second, not every minute, every second, because the adversary is right there, throwing temptation at us from left to right. If we don't watch ourselves, we will fall into temptation. So we have to be careful. Be careful, people. Jesus is coming soon. We have to make a decision. Don't have one foot inside, one foot outside. You have to make a decision. Don't serve the Lord because you want something out of it. Serve Him because He's a loving God. Because He's a, a, the most awesome God. And He will be there for you. More than a husband will. More than a wife will. More than your children. He's thicker closer than a brother or a sister. Jesus, I don't understand how people walk in this world without Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. You cannot come to the Father, but to Jesus. So therefore, you need to invite Jesus into your life. Jesus did not shed his blood on the cross of Calvary and vain. He shed his blood for you and me. The same way he saved me, he will save you too. Just ask him. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Take away this old heart of mine and give me a new heart. Give me a burning desire to serve you. Fill my heart with your love. Clothe me in your righteousness. Jesus, live in me and make yourself shown every day. Let me be the light of the world. And 
just the way that Jesus will change your life, your family will be amazed. Some of it, some of them will not like you because they didn't like Jesus, so therefore don't expect everybody to like you. Just ask Him to come and live inside your heart. He's there with His heart wide open, and He's calling you. Jesus don't want anybody to go to hell, and the Father don't want anyone to go to hell. That's the only reason He sent His only begotten Son to die on the cross of Calvary. So whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that loving, that promise, that richness that you can only find in Jesus, why don't you invite Him today? Invite Him into your life. And don't just say it with your mouth. Mean it with all your heart. And Jesus can help you with anything. Don't think any sin is too big. And don't say, oh, I'm too deep into my sin. There's no way you will forgive a prostitute. There's no way you will cleanse a homosexual. Guess what? It's just the devil lies. Jesus will take you just the way you are and clean you up and make you a brand new person. You won't even recognize yourself next time. He will change you so completely into his beauty, into his likeness. Even your speech will be different. So I invite Jesus today, people. I love you. Jesus loves you. And that's more than enough. Jesus bless you.